Hi everybody, Tammy here. Welcome to my channel. Hopefully I can move this camera and not be too wobbly for you. I'm getting ready to do some dolly ironing. Um, I'm trying out a new, one of those new little travel irons that people use for doll stuff. It's, I'm getting used to the, to the feel of it. But I have a number of doll clothes that I made. I'm getting ready to pack them up and send them off to my sister, Tapping Flamingo, and as her Christmas present, and obviously I'm going to film, film this pretty early on, okay, well before Christmas, and post it well after Christmas, so that she doesn't, you know, have her surprise spoiled. But I wanted to share them with you, and I need to spruce them up a little bit, and zhuzh them, um, etc. So that's why I'm going to iron them, even though by the time I get there, they're probably going to be all squished again. But oh, and I'm also going to throw in these cute little tennis shoes for her. So, what I decided to do is make a number of pieces that kind of mix and match a little bit. And if you saw the if you saw the collab video I did, when was that? <laughs> it was, um, right around Thanksgiving time, like the 25th or something of uh, November, I did a collab with uh, Beth Ramsden, Dolls Rescued, and J Dolls UK, and we uh, made little outfits using a Simplicity Blythe pattern, and this is the outfit I made. And I thought, oh my gosh, it's so cute, and I really like the techniques that I learned how to do, so I decided to make the, a duplicate outfit with a few changes and give that to my sister. So here's the duplicate, um, uh, here's the little um, bandana, here is the skirt, here is the shirt, but I cropped it because I thought it would look cuter if it was shorter, you know, and so otherwise it's the same, it's just I, I think I made it about an inch shorter than the original pattern. Um, also I didn't put, put Rick Rack at the bottom, um, just on the top and the sleeves. So she's got this, she's got the, the uh, bandana, the skirt, the top. Then I made these poofy pants from a pattern. This is the pattern um, from Olga Ver Verkova, Vertkova, okay? The pants on here. I showed that in another video or two. So here are the pants finished. So the pants you could wear, she can have, she could, her dolls could wear wear the top with these pants too. And then I was like, okay, let me make one more top. So I took, um, this is a variation on a pattern where I just, I, this is the top of a dress. So I just used the top and then this is about two inches by like about 10 inches strip. And I left it raw on the edges and just, so it's like a little boho style top that can go with either the skirt or the pants. So all of those. And then I was like, you know what? I'll make, make just one more kind of similar related, different fabric, but similar color scheme. I had some of this obviously Barbie inspired uh, fabric and I had already had this cut out uh, a while ago and I just decided, well, we're gonna go ahead and finish making it. So I'm going to toss that in there as well. Um, and yeah, so they look, I tried everything on. It fits both the um, the traditional bod like this girl has and also the um, more the larger uh, what do you call it a zone style body but yeah I'm gonna pack these up and like I said first I'm gonna go ahead and zhush them with the iron um, so I think that's a fun little little gifty for her um, yeah anyway it was fun to make and I learned some new sewing techniques and yeah, it was nice to be able to spend some time at my sewing machine. I've been doing so much organizing and going through stuff that um, I really needed a break. So it was fun. And yeah, make sure you check out her channel. She actually has two uh, channels. One is called Tapping Flamingo. And on that one, she does uh, mainly uh, beading and jewelry making. Um, she has a lot of tutorials and she shows you her process for jewelry designing. And then she has a really fun channel called Be Creative and that's where she does most of her doll stuff now and she shows how to make all kinds of different arts and crafts and um, cooking and anything related to be, having a creative life 
uh, she has over there. And she's actually been doing a pretty, I have to be, I have to say, I got to give it to her. <laughs> she's, she's created a fun channel and has a nice uh, little following up over there and has been growing that channel pretty nicely. So, um, but yes, these are going to go out in the mail and hopefully uh, you'll see them at some point in time on one of her video channels. Like I said, I bet it's probably going to be Be Creative. I'll put links to both of her channels, you know, down below in the description. Um, out of all these pieces, which piece do you like the best? Let me know in the comments down below. Please give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And have a wonderful Dolly Day. Bye-bye.